Snow has been coming and going all across western New York, especially up in the north towns, and that's where two on your sides Ron Plants is live for us tonight. He is tracking road conditions there. Ron? Well, Scott, here in uh, Williamsville right now, we'll tell you that apparently Marie was talking about those bands kind of oscillating. It is relatively quiet here right now. Earlier this afternoon in the town of Amherst, you may recall that the supervisor did declare a traveler's advisory in conjunction with Erie County. But again, with those fluctuating bands, we've seen the situation changing here quite a bit. But this is what we actually encountered. We have some video from earlier this evening with that blowing snow. As Maria was talking about, it is very fine. It blows across the road quickly with some of the wind. That can limit your visibility. Other times you can drive out of it, but you do have to be extremely careful. Now, we did hours ago ask the supervisor, Brian Culpa, about why he declared a traveler's advisory as opposed to a ban. And what the advisory says is, listen, you know, there's extenuating circumstances out there. Um, and as plow crews are working and stuff, some of the roads might not be in great shape all night. Right now, the roads are in good shape. You know, it, it lightened up for the past couple of hours. There's no reason people can't be on the street. You know, our hope is that if students have classes to go to and mandatory things, if people have work to get to, we get it. That's why we're under advisory. You know, I wouldn't exercise a ban until it's absolutely necessary. Now, Supervisor Culpa did say he may consider a ban, again, in conjunction with Erie County and the state. They'll look at the conditions tomorrow and make a decision on that. Reporting live here from downtown Williamsville, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Scott and uh, Mary Alice, back to you in the studio.